All right, I'm going to walk you through the Mobi Ease settings, icons, etc., and all the things you can do to make the mobile theme just the way you want it to look. First, let me quickly remind some of you folks who may not know that the plugin is very easily installed. Simply go to the plugins, click on Add New, click on Upload. And from here, you're just going to browse to your desktop or your whatever folder has the zip file and then click on install. Once it's installed, you'll see it amongst the other plugins that you already have. You would click activate, just like it says here. Mine's already activated, so deactivate is the only option available to me. So let's go to Mobi Ease again, already installed on this demo. We've got settings, icons, menus, homepage, pretty much anything, and things you probably haven't even thought of that you can adjust from this control panel. From the layout, you can choose amongst columns. You can choose any color you want. And here's something that's really nice, though. When it comes to choosing a color, you can pick and choose any color that you want, either by looking at the color wheel, or you can just simply type in your hex number, like that. So in either case, it's quick to take a color. The title and tagline, of course, the text for the title and tagline is under the settings general, where you put your title and tagline. But here you can adjust the font size, the color, etc. Everything you'd expect to be able to uh, adjust. And this part is one of the best parts, because when it comes to a mobile website, one of the main best features of a mobile website is that it's got a click to call. That means when your visitor goes to your website, they are simply just one click away from initiating a call to you. That's why mobile websites are so much better than a desktop website. You simply put in your number here that you want to be called once the click to call button is uh, clicked. You can show the telephone number if you so desire. Just set the image width and the height. Browse for the particular icon that you want to use. In this case, we're using this nice one here. And you can drag it wherever you'd like. Same go for the logos. Okay. And then be sure once you're all done that you save and apply changes. I do want to show you something else that's nice. When you hit the preview button, you can see where you are at at any point in time. So here's our click to call button. We've got some nav, but we haven't even talked about the navigation yet, and the map. I'll tell you about all that in just one second. As we continue on down, where do we leave off? The logo, which you browse for the logo, decide the width and the height. The banners that are available, the menu, what you want the menu to look like. The content of the pages, what font size, what font, what font uh, color, etc. Same thing with a footer. Transition effects, 10 different transition effects as you go from page to page. The sub page header layout, sub page logo. And this is a really great spot too. This is where you place your Google Analytics code. Google Analytics will tell you how many folks arrived, what page they landed on, where they came from, a lot of really great marketing information provided by Google Analytics. And here's an equally great feature on this one, the Maps feature. Simply plug in the address of your business, right? If you're serving a local area, the folks that visit your website are going to want to know how to find you, and they're used to using Google Maps. So simply put in your Google Map address there. I used, you know, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Be sure to save, and I'll show you a preview here. It comes up, so anywhere on your website you can have this there, and they can simply zoom in. And oftentimes, from, they can get directions from where they are then to finding your place of business almost immediately. And here's the White House, as if I worked at the White House. I don't really work at the White House. <laughs> All right, now, something else that's exceptionally cool that I haven't seen anywhere else, and that's geotargeting. When we enable this, you simply put a little message that you want folks to see when they are in a particular area. So that means if you wanted to put, uh, say, Denver. That means when folks are in Denver, Colorado, and they go to this site, they will see the message that you leave here. You simply put in the default location here. So if you were doing just a local promotion um, or a statewide promotion, when folks are viewing this website from that within that location, then and only then will they get the top bar text that you can indicate here. Again, always be sure. For you folks who love to get traffic, and who doesn't love to get traffic, the SEO settings, there's another video that's going to tell you a heck of a lot more about it. But you can see here we have got every... Uh, section for for uh, making the SEO just exactly the way that you want it through all of these settings that are available to you. It's too long to go into right now. There's another video for you. 
All right, so let me go back to the mobile theme. Now, that was all about the settings, and that's the main one. With the icons, you simply pick up the page, and every page that you created is automatically propagated amongst this list. You pull out the page that you want, you browse for the icon, and you insert it. Of course, you can adjust the width and the height as well. So when we go to menus, you can see there's lots of different things that we can change here. Every page is propagated in this list here. We simply pick and choose the pages that we want. They're added at the bottom. We, jam we drag them to the palette. Oop, and there they are. We can add and subtract right from this page here. And we can move around if we want. So really what we want is maybe home and about and a shop. We'll remove all the rest of these. We've got these three. We just simply drag and drop them where we want. And they're good to go. The home page has many attributes that you can uh, customize just the way you want it. Same thing with the sub page. All these can become sub pages to any of the main menu navigations. Social media is especially cool. Right now we've got three social media buttons up there. You would obviously enter in the URLs so they could go to Facebook, their Twitter, their YouTube. Or you could remove these two and replace them with other social medias that they are fond of. Uh, and you can keep adding them if you'd like. Or simply remove them. Put YouTube, Twitter. Rearrange them any way you want. Apply the changes. Preview. And there's your social media. I'll talk about that in one second. The autoresponder is another great feature. You've seen that pop up when I hit the preview. I'll set the pop up to five seconds and I'll say, hey, this is where you would prompt uh, with your autoresponder code, whether it's AWeber, MailChimp, Constant Contact, etc. Just put the code right in here and it'll say what you want it to say. And gather their name and email address. Let me show you a preview. We set it to five seconds. So one, two, three, four. Five. There it is, right there. Hey there. Great. So it's a pop up for an autoresponder. All right. That about covers it. Um, way too much to go into great detail, but it really shows you how customizable the Mobi East plugin really, really is. From settings and icons and menus, homepage, etc. Uh, particularly, what's great is the uh, the SEO settings, the Google Analytics, and the geo targeting are things that you don't necessarily see on a lot of other sites. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.